hello everyone so in this lecture we will discuss tcp three way and check process okay so we have two machines one is client and another one is server okay to establish tcp connection between client and server your client will first send sin packet okay and the sequence number for that packet would be any random number it could be anything okay and acknowledgement number would be zero along with uh, sequence number acknowledgement number it will also uh, share the MSS details your window size okay your window scaling factor your selective acknowledgement permit okay so these are the other parameters which are being sent uh, you know uh, in your along with your sin packet okay so once this sin packet is received by the server so initially the server state is in listening okay so server is listening for the tcp connection so when your client is initiating the tcp connection so your client is sending the sin packet so your server state changes to sin received from listening okay and then your server will send this sin plus acknowledgement packet that is synac okay so in in now in synac the sequence number would be again any random number and acknowledgement number would be 101 because the sequence number for sin packet was 100 so we will increment the value by 1 since there is no uh, data payload in sin packet so we will in increase the value of acknowledgement number by 1 so it means now we are expecting uh, the next packet with sequence number 101 okay then it will tell MSS window size window scaling factor and selective acknowledgement once it is done the client uh, you know state changes to established when client will send the acknowledgement packet to server okay so the acknowledgement packet will then contain the sequence number of 101 you can verify this number okay because we have incremented the value by one so initial sequence number was 100 so uh, when the server send the acknowledgements in plus acknowledgement uh, the acknowledgement number was 101 it has incremented the value by one because the data payload in that packet is zero so it means now we are expecting the next packet with sequence number 101 so when your acknowledgement packet is being sent by the client your sequence number will be 101 and we need to acknowledge the sequence uh, we need to acknowledge the uh, sequence number of the server so initial sequence number for server packet was 200 so we will acknowledge that packet by incrementing the value by 1 again the data payload is 0 so we will increment the value by 1 and after the successful connection establishment your actual data flow will take place and the sequence number and acknowledgement number will be increased by the data bytes being transferred between client and server okay so let's verify this process through the Wireshark capture so this is the Wireshark capture so you can see this is the source IP address and this is the destination IP address so this is the first sin packet right so you can see source port is 54870 and destination port is 443 packet is sin so this is your TCP header and inside flags you can see sin flag is set okay so you can see sequence number is 2447294724 your window size is 64240 your data length is 0 MSS is 1460 and scaling factor is 256 and selective acknowledgement permit is 1 okay so this is the initial parameters which are being sent along with sin packet now this is the response from the uh, server so your server will respond synac 
it will send this INAC packet to client okay so you can see the source port is 443 and the destination port is 54870 okay now you will see the sequence number is random generated number and it is 166467143 okay and acknowledgement number is 25 so here the sequence number is 24 so we have incremented the value by one so it means now the next packet we are expecting from client should be having this uh, sequence number 244729 okay and this is the window size for server it is 60720 length is 0 again your uh, data payload is 0 and this is the maximum segment size of the uh, server which is 1380 and it is telling yes my selective uh, acknowledgement permit is 1 and my scaling factor is 256 okay now the third packet for the TCP connection establishment uh, in the three-way handshake this is the third packet which is a acknowledgement packet from the uh, client so you can see source port is 54870 and the destination port is 443 so you can check the packet is acknowledgement so you can see here acknowledgement packet is set right and in SYNAC you can see the acknowledgement and SYN packet both are set okay so in acknowledgement you will see the acknowledgement number is set then you will see the sequence number 725 so if you verify the acknowledgement number 244729 the sequence number 244729 so acknowledgement number tells you that you know what is the next expected sequence number of you know of data stream right so this is the next uh, packet in sequence okay and then i'll acknowledge the uh, sequence number of my server so this is the sequence number 166467 so what I'm expecting from server now is 166467 so the next packet from server should be having this uh, sequence number uh, 454 okay and the window size is 6604 and the length is 0 so this is the TCP connection establishment process okay so your client will send this in packet then your server will send this in plus acknowledgement packet and then your client will send the acknowledgement packet and after this three-way handshake your tcp connection will be established so the state change you can see when this in packet is being sent so the client state changes to sin sent and your server state will changes from listening to sin received okay and when SYNAC is being sent so you know after sending the acknowledgement the state changes to established established okay so this is all about TCP three-way handshake now we will discuss TCP uh, connection termination process okay okay so now we will discuss TCP connection termination process and it is also known as uh, four-way handshake okay so after successful data transfer between client and server we gracefully terminate the connection between client and server okay so how it happens so initially the connection established between the uh, initiator and the receiver so let's say your initiator would like to close the connection so it will first send the fin packet okay and it will you know it, it will change its state from established connection to fin weight one okay once it will be received by the receiver uh, it will change its state to close weight or you can say passive close and it will acknowledge this fin packet okay and then your initiator will change its state to fin weight 2 right so at this stage this is half closed right after that your receiver will send the fin packet okay and your initiator will change its state to time weight and send the acknowledgement to close the connection gracefully once this acknowledgement is received by the receiver you know the tcp connection is gracefully is gracefully closed okay so state will become closed closed on both the sides and this part will close the another half of the 
TCP connection. So since there are four packets which are being exchanged in this process, that's why it is also known as four-way handshake. Okay, let's let's take an example like this. So after successful data transfer, your client has sent the FIN packet plus acknowledgement for the data received okay so the sequence number was k and the acknowledgement number was l okay your server will acknowledge this fin packet okay so your sequence number will become l and your acknowledgement number will be k plus one so now i'm expecting something uh, i mean your next sequence number should be k plus one okay so this is the client initiate close connection right and at this stage the connection is half closed okay so what what does it mean your client has closed the connection but from server side connection is still open and server can send more data and your client can acknowledge the data received okay and after that your server will close the connection so this is optional part right it might be possible server can send more data or it's like the server will right away close the connection by sending the fin packet then server will send the fin packet so sequence number would be l okay and your acknowledgement would be k plus one the last if we talk about this one okay now your client will send the acknowledgement packet so your sequence would be k plus one not k it will be k plus one okay and your acknowledgement will be l plus one right and after that both states change to closed closed so at this point the connection was half closed and after receiving fin and acknowledgement from both the ends the connection is fully closed so let's verify this process through the wireshark captures okay so here you can see that dot one uh, 31 dot one is the server and 31 dot two to six is the client so we have received fin plus acknowledgement packet from server okay so the sequence number is three seven three one two zero three zero three seven and the acknowledgement is three double one zero double seven nine two seven one okay so your client will acknowledge this packet okay and you can see the sequence number is 271 so here is 271 so the next sequence number will be 271 and it will acknowledge the sequence number of fin packet which is 037 now we are expecting 038 okay so till this stage the connection is half closed then your client will send the fin packet and the sequence number would be 271 okay so the sequence number would be 271 because you can see the connection acknowledgement is being sent by the uh, client itself so again this packet will be you know sent by the client so the sequence number will remain same and your acknowledgement will be 038 now server will acknowledge this fin packet and the sequence number will become 038 so you can see acknowledgement number is 038 here so sequence number will become 038 and acknowledgement number will become 272 so sequence number is 271 so the acknowledgement will become 272 because we will increase the value by one since the data payload is zero in each packets okay so this is four way pack i mean four way handshake to gracefully terminate the tcp connection so if you click on this fin packet so in the tcp flags you can see that fin packet fin flag is set to one okay and your acknowledgement is set to one right and if you click on the acknowledgement packet so only acknowledgement is set to one fin packet not set to uh, one right and similarly finac again fin is set to one acknowledgement is set to one so that's it if you have any doubts you can post comments and if i'll get chance i'll definitely answer your queries bye bye take care